Hey guys, what is up? And welcome back to Face of the Franchise. It's been a little bit. Uh, I'm recording this Thanksgiving night. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time we record for give or take two hours. Filter it all down for you guys. Might do an hour and a half. Don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. But let's get it. Well, it teleported us all the way to week 17. And it says, win and you're in. We are 15 and 0. We could lose and we're in the playoffs. It doesn't matter. But we have upgrades, so let's take a look at those. We have two skill points. Um, Improviser, I guess. A. Okay. And uh, let's do Field General. Try to get some accuracy. Short and throw power. Because we did have that injury that severely uh, hurt us there. But we're starting to get stuff back. Our deep accuracy is 95. We have 88 medium and 87 short. All of that's uh, plus two for because of morale. And we still only have 77 throw power. But... We got 97 speed. We went from like 67 speed to 97 speed. That was awesome. So I'm finally going to be able to run around, you know? And we can always get the arm strength back. What I was figuring was, like, I had that huge injury, right? So, but the team still played fairly well throughout the regular season without me. I trusted them in the wild card round to get the win, and they did. Or wait, was it wild card or divisional? Ah, I can't remember, but <clears throat> I think it might have been divisional. I'm not sure. But then I came back the following week. We won, and then um, coach told me, "Hey, by the way, you re-aggravated your injury." What the hell was the point of me waiting then if I was still going to re-aggravate it? I was probably going to re-aggravate it playing. But it's like, whatever. Um, We're going to try and see what we can do. Playoff magic. Game day goal. Gain 250 pass slash rush yards. 16 and 0. We, we pulled it off. Game. Perfect season. As you'd imagine, the locker room was hyped after that game. Like, I had plenty of tough moments in my career, but fortunately, I had a lot of great ones too. And I have to say, this was one of the better moments of my whole career. It's safe to say that the game ball will be going to our man, our quarterback, Pitt. What do you want to tell the team? Live for today or live for tomorrow. Let's live for tomorrow because we ain't done yet. 16 0 means nothing if you don't get that Lombardi. Don't be too happy for me just yet. The playoffs are ahead and our work has only just begun. Exactly. It means nothing. We aren't lifting. Thinking back in an Lombardi. hour, it didn't matter what happened the rest of the season. Yeah, we lost in the playoffs to a team that was absolutely stacked with talent. But that one moment was one of the best of my entire life. Uh oh. Really? You're not going to give me a chance? Mother. One piece of advice I always give the young players coming into the NFL is not Why to take the, the end of year awards for granted. Between the star power on hand and the amazing history of the league, it is an honor to be there. I'm here for, with the first player to win NFL MVP and Comeback Player of the Year in the same season. What does your offseason look like? Cherish it or boast? I'm going to cherish it. It's so great to be here and I want to be back next year, so I know I need to add more to my game. My throw power. Thanks, Pitt, and congratulations. That's a wrap from the NFL Honors Red Carpet. So I got MVP. Though, since I got MVP, that tells you I'm not going to win the Super Bowl. But I also got Comeback Player of the Year. I took the time to rest up and get ready for the next season. I tried to focus on getting my mind and body right, you know. And I needed it for what came next. 
Regain the magic. Hey! My X Factor's back. And I got a thousand likes. Yeah. Regain the magic. New X Factor gambler. Uh, CPU can't pick me off if I'm correct. That was a comeback for the ages, and it was a treat to watch. <laughs> oh, would you call that a fun year? Express joy or relief? Joy. It was one of those situations where when you've been around long enough, you just start to see the game differently. It's almost like everything slows down around you. Okay, well, we're 16 and 0, and you already told me. Oh, okay. Uh, future Hall of Famer. But, and from what you've told me, I don't get to the Super Bowl. Just, just, yeah. 16 and 0, we made it to the freaking uh, divisional at the very least. That's number one seed. Hmm. Face of the NFL. After putting up video game numbers this season, guess who's going to be on the cover of Matt? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh, I need strong armor. I, got, I gotta get the throw. Uh, so that's 78 throw power. Oh, shoot. Oh, uh, 80 throw power. Eighty-two throw power. I like it. Right? Eighty-two? Yes! I'm getting that throw power back. Oh, man. We're doing good. We're doing good. Alright, uh, we gotta get our X-Factor and abilities back. Uh, let's see. Gambler. The best quarterbacks learn to take calculated risks. When they enter the zone, they can't be intercepted by AI defenders and have increased throw speed. Uh, what do you think we're playing against right now? Uh, yeah, I guess that's the only one I can do. So I might as well get quarterback playmaker, uh, conductor, only one I can do. Uh, I can't do any of those. So comeback or, oh, you gotta do gunslinger. And lofting deadeye. Perfect accuracy on all lob or touch passes, except for high, low, and crossbody. Sick. Uh, the only one I can't do is no look dead eye or uh, Homer. Okay, we good. All right. Um, now it's time to see if I survive the Madden curse. Oh, hey, Rich. One moment that really stood out was my first time on Rich Eisen's show. My next guest needs no introduction. Some Four of you may know him as the, the reigning NFL MVP. Others may know him as one half of everyone's favorite duo, the Heartbreak Kids. But I know you as someone entirely different. Isn't that right, Shoeless? Tell everyone at home how I single-handedly saved your career. Yeah, that's right. You absolutely saved me at the Combine by letting me wear your Run Rich Run cleats. Which I still haven't gotten back, by the way. You know, it's funny you mention that. Oh, my beautiful babies. What did he do to you? Well, I didn't know how to get him back to you, and they did kind of help me get drafted in a roundabout way, so they became my lucky practice cleats. So much for asking for those back. Yeah, you know what? I felt terrible about that, so uh, I figured I'd make it up to you. <sighs> What do you have here? Oh my goodness. These are amazing. What are they? Those are custom Heartbreak Kid 3s. They're cleats. And there's only four guys that have them. Those are guaranteed to get you a sub 5 40 time. This is the greatest day of my life. Thank you so much for these. Oh, jeez. I've been so wrapped in the great combine cleat caper, I forgot we have a surprise for you today as well. 
So what? wants to say hello. Is it Tommy? What up, player? Pete Yo, Pitt, it's Snoop. On behalf of EA Sports and the Madden community, I want to be five years since I've seen you. To welcome you to the Madden family as this year's cover athlete. Oh, wait. What? That is crazy. Uh, we grew up playing Madden, so this is unbelievable. And so cool as Snoop and the rest of the EA. It's in the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the game. There you are. Uh, you're on okay, the game. Okay, let's get real now. I gotta ask, are you worried about the Madden cover curse? Honestly, I think the biggest drawback is gonna be all the guys thinking they're gonna get a free copy of Madden. Stay tuned. There's more to come with our newest Madden cover athlete. That wasn't... Hey, they look good on you. Really what I said. They do. Dream Team. Once in a great while, the stars align for an opportunity to play on a team that's truly remarkable. Will your season end in greatness or disappointment? Let's find out. Thinking back, what part of the process did you enjoy the most? I remember you were a key player in re assembling an all-star team. Thinking back, what part of... Oh. Friends nearby, fan reaction, working together, pressure to win. Uh, working together. The crowds went totally wild when all of us stepped out of the tunnel and onto the field. Talk about a major adrenaline rush. You had a great reaction to that. Oh, it was just after coach? camp, and coach called me in to talk about the preseason games. I didn't think anything of it at the time. This team hardly has any holes, so before we add anyone to our current roster, who stood out to you the most? Diggs? Cole. Diggs. Both these guys have been pushing themselves in camp, but Stefan Diggs has really been setting himself apart from the pack. I think he's said to have a... Okay. It was the first of many moments that would eventually snowball into something much bigger. He was a superstar X-Factor before. Gained 75 or more passing slash rushing yards in your next preseason game. Legit though, I... I, I... I scored. The only points for us came from me. I scored our only points of the game. And I only played the half, so Tennessee wins. Minus 10 morale. Well, backups are kind of bad. It wasn't our best showing, and we'd need to ensure we didn't repeat it. Okay. The press were eager to learn more. All right. You and your teammates seem to offer them. Of the guys in your offense, which position needs more work? Running backs or wide receivers? I'd probably say running backs. We need more out of our running game. If we can force the defense out of this to have to stack the box to stop our rushing attack things really open up in the passing game but it was still the preseason and little did I know the impact that my answer would have down the road plus 10 excel and carrying to all bears halfbacks for 8 weeks Ooh. okay where are we going to go now Vetting the market. Management is looking for a role player to bolster their lineup. Who will they find? So, because I said running back, are we about to trade for a running back? I got a note the assistant GM wanted to see oh, me in two weeks later. Right. Coach. And I thought I might be in trouble. But it turned out to be something totally different. What well, you said in the press to the press got us thinking about our shortcomings. If we made a trade, Philip Lindsay or Trey Burton. 
have Cole, we don't really need another tight end, so I'm gonna say Phillip. If we can get him, Philip Lindsay would be a huge addition to our offense. I'm excited to think about what we could accomplish as a team by adding him. The assistant GM made his like notes maybe a joke and mixing. thanked me. <laughs> you can imagine my surprise Laura. when I read later that we'd actually saw him. He has an X Factor X Factor development trait and has and gained sixty thousand experience. You acquired a player who is a perfect fit for your team. Hey, <clears throat> but really, like maybe like Joe Mixon, a Kamara, a Saquon. The next something. day, we were doing a meet and greet in the locker room when Coach came in and told us to suit up. I want you and Philip Lindsay to log some serious time together before the start of the regular season. What drills are you going to run? Uh, let's do the short passing game, that way we can get him associated with catching out of the backfield. Let's get out there and see what we can do. Plus, my short accuracy needs help, so if we do that, maybe it'll get bumped. We had a training plan, and once we had our cleats laced up and our helmets on, we hit that practice field. What number did, uh, Philip get? Get gold for maximum HP and an ability unlock. Yay. Ooh, inside Deadeye, you've unlocked a new ability. Go to your player card and equip it. Okay. Hard work pays off. You're in 1500 XP. Nice. Can I not go equip it? What's going on? Ah, press. The practice makes perfect. Then we had just had one that was close to ideal. We weren't the only ones who thought so. Onlookers were buzzing about the com combined talent on display at practice today. Are you building a dream team? We need to play. We're having fun. We're more untouchable. Uh, you decide. I'm between either we're having fun or we need to play. Uh, we need to play. None of this matters until we win. It's what you do, not what you say. That goes in the standings. Oh. What you do, not we what you say. We had made a big splash in the preseason, and the regular season was just a week away. It was time to ride that wave and hope we didn't wipe out. Okay. Not a bad start. 1500 XP to all Bears players. And 250 legacy. Nice. What are we doing? We were all oh, riding high after the win. <laughs> Back in the locker room, I checked my phone and saw tons of rumors about players who wanted to be traded to our team. Is your feet as crazy as mine right now? I got guys all around the league reaching out. Anyone reach out to you? Joe Mixon or Austin Hooper? It's a 99 overall running back. I'm taking Joe Mother Mixon. Joe says congrats on the win and hope we'll play together someday. If we could bring him in. The three of us together would be unstoppable. I'm literally talking to. I figured it couldn't hurt to mention that. it to the assistant GM, and sure enough, when I brought it up, he was more than receptive. Big week one win. Plus you acquired the final piece of your dream team and halfback Joe Mixon. Plus 20 morale for the entire team. Let's go. We got me, Mixon, Diggs, Lindsey. Uh, Didn't your are, offense have a nickname that we year? Are, uh, what was it? We got Allen Robinson as well. We got Anthony Miller. We got Cole Komet. We are stacked on offense. It's illuminating to finally get the inside scoop on the process of how you all joined forces. Didn't your offense have a nickname that year? What was it? We are going to go with history in the making. We were setting out to smash records and win championships, so we thought history in the making was appropriate.
History in the making. Let's go. Ooh, and we got an upgrade. Let's get that throw power back. my mid and my deep got upgraded it looked like 94 89 85 82 throw power we'll get it eventually well let's see uh where we're off to next so right now it has us uh week five we're witnessing what now the greatest group of all-star talent prepared to take on the nfl's biggest challengers okay we're three and zero, which is awesome. We're first in our division, awesome. Let's see where we're at. Time was tight. We had an That's autograph signing in just a few hours, but I wanted to make sure I got enough work in with the new guys. Yeah, it's Joe. Uh, we've got a game just around the corner, and I'm still behind on learning the playbook. Think you can help me out? Yeah, I'm going to be helpful to him. Sure, man, I know how crazy it is to get traded and have to learn an entire scheme in under a week. That's no easy task. I can postpone that signing and we can get it to the playbook. Practice seemed to fly by, and we all left that field feeling pretty pumped up for our next game together. So he'll have his uh, X Factor to start the game. Gain 400 offensive yards makes a mystery. All right. We will. What a hell of an end to that game. Um, I'll probably end up showing some of it, probably. Uh, if I don't, uh, Mixon, we were able to give it to him and have him score the game-winning touchdown in overtime. Uh, we were supposed to get 400 yards of offense, and I threw for... 443 I think so we got that uh, living up to the hype you earn 1500 XP and 500 legacy your team is living up to their nickname perhaps you can continue to lead them down this scorching hot streak they're on that was absolutely unreal man that was I mean that was a friggin nail biter not and there was a point where it was 21 to 21 and uh it was third down and i tried to hammer it in with joe mixon and he didn't get it so i called no huddle before the game could take over because i had confidence in mixon to go get the touchdown and he didn't so for a while it was still 21 21 and then we scored uh to go up 28 to 21 washington scored to be 28 28 uh they got the ball first in overtime and then we were able to go right down the field uh, using both my arm and my legs. And then I had faith in Mixon to go in there and get the touchdown. And he did it. So that was absolutely amazing by him. Uh, we have a skill point. Uh, crap. Let's go improviser. Two throw power. 84. Let's go. Right? 84? Yes, my throw power is coming back. Slowly but surely, it's coming back. Man. Alright. Um, what's next? Playoffs in the air. Just getting into the dance is all you need for a shot to win. But this team's work is far from finished. And we have a new upgrade. How many skill points? Two. Boom. Come on, give me throw power. Yes. And we got short. That's exactly what he needed. Break sack. Deep. And throw power. So I have like 88 throw power? I have 88 throw power. Let's go. Oh, this is awesome. Ah, uh, throw power is back. 88 throw power. Let's go. Man. All right. So I've been recording an hour and a half. What I'm probably going to do 
play another game because they'll probably have me play this game and then i'll end it at whatever cutscenes lead us to this or the next sequence of this where my guy's just standing here so let's get it press conference it had been a long journey just to get to this point and with every step the stakes were raised the press wanted to gauge your confidence level okay Congratulations on making it to the playoffs after a trying season. Looking at the matchups, are you the best in the bracket? Be bold. You gotta be humble. All the teams we're up against have worked equally hard to get here, and it's an honor to compete against them. As I stepped away from the mic, I knew the next time we stepped onto the field would determine whether we kept going or vanished forever. Okay. X Factor's on to start the game. 10 short. I'm already at like 97, so that's 99 short. Uh, gained 350 total offensive yards against the Packers. Winna winna chicken dinner. 1500 XP, 75, 750. Uh, legacy, I wish it was 7,500. You led your team to a big time win in the playoffs that propels you to the Super Bowl. That means in the next episode, we're going to be playing in the Super Bowl. Let go. Uh, damn. Let's go uh, Improviser again. 98 overall. Uh, I did get throw power. I'm at 90 throw power right now, and I got short and I got deep. Let's go. Wait, so can I see my thing? Because I'm curious about some. 98 deep, 99 short, 91 medium, with 90 throw power. My throw power has really made a nice comeback. I don't think it'll make me play the Super Bowl if I do this. If it does, I'm gonna be sitting here <laughs> playing it. Hey, first ballot Hall of Famer. It's all come down to this. Can this dream team that looks like an all men roster on paper finish the season as Super Bowl champs? Let's go. Oh, let's go, man. Come on, give me throw power. Dang it. Throw accuracy short, break sack, and awareness. So my short's a 91 right now. With 91 mid, 98 deep, 90 throw power. I am the number three ranked quarterback in the league based on my overall rating of a 96, putting me in the top 2% of quarterbacks. I have 99 morale, which is giving me a plus two overall boost. Nice. All right. I am a first ballot Hall of Famer. No, I'm curious about this uh, legacy score. Um, I'm going to learn more about it. Well, whatever. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, two hours right on the nose, just like I wanted. I'll have to figure out exactly um, you know, when I'm going to edit it, when I'm going to upload but I think this is a thing that can work. Record for two hours, make it a 20 minute video, just like the last one. That way you guys get the most uh, content in one video. And I'm not making, you know, three, four, five videos to equal what this one is doing. Like, I, I like this, I like the system, so we are now a first ballot Hall of Fame player. Um, I'm sure next is like greatest of all time, something like that. Um, this is amazing. It really is. Uh, I'm going to look at legacy scores, see 
what's after first ballot. And I'll let you guys know in the next video what it is. So if you guys are excited for that, please leave a like on your channel. Please hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys next video. Later. One son was seven years old. Mama told me to go make yourself some friends or you'll be lonely. One son was seven years old.